Oh my god, that's a huge crappie. Oh, he's turning on me. Here he comes, here he comes. Got him. Holy cow, that thing is freaking a tank. <coughs> that's exactly how you want to start an intro. Nick, what did you just do? Nick. <coughs> I took you... a deep breath and a gnat went in my throat. Woo! <coughs> oh my god. That looks violent. Are you good? Yeah, great. Okay, what are we doing today? We are up here in the north woods of Wisconsin and we're doing a little bit of camping slash fishing this weekend. Yesterday we filmed a video that you guys have already seen that was last week's video of Brandon catching a 42 and a half inch pike and getting into some bass with Mr. Tackle Box stuff. Uh, while we were doing that we noticed an entire group of giant crappies like everywhere in the lake. Problem was we didn't have anything to go for the crappies. So today we ended up going to the gas station a couple miles away and we picked up some minnows. So now we have minnows and we're gonna be hitting the lake today seeing if we can catch those big crappies. So I'm gonna to try to not get eaten alive while doing that, but we are using the kayaks again today and uh, we're gonna just go see if we can catch some giant crappies on some live bait and not get eaten alive. So stay tuned guys, you're not gonna to wanna to miss this one. All right guys, so before we start fishing, we just thought we would uh, show you our nice little setup. So this is our beautiful campsite. We've got a cooler here with some goodies. We've got some food and then we've got some Gatorades and stuff. <laughs> lots of food in there. Lots of food, lots of goodies. Yeah, we've we got, got a tent. A tent to sleep in. It takes five minutes to set up. Nick and I did it in about a minute and a half because we're awesome. And we've got the yaks down here. We've got our camera stuff. We went and got the minnows like we said. Hopefully those do us well today. And then we also got this cool little thing. This is my new friend. It's called the drone. Yeah, so we're gonna go ahead and just whip it around real quick just because, well, why not? We just got it and figured we'd have a little fun. We're gonna go rip around the lake, maybe get some sweet shots and then start fishing. So let's go ahead and get this out and go take our first spin. Alrighty, well, that was Wow, a lot of bugs. That was pretty fun. Something we've never really done before. This is brand new to us, but guys, we got a drone. So that's pretty cool. It's definitely something that we're gonna be, you know, starting to use a lot more, especially when we hit the water. Basically our first time using it, but we're gonna go ahead, get a little bit more used to it, probably fly it somewhere other than just on water. That was a little risky for our first time flying it, but we're gonna go ahead and get the ax loaded up, get down onto the water and go catch some crappies. So we'll see you out there. Looks like there's a bed up over there. All right, hey. <laughs> that definitely was a bed. And there definitely was a crappie on it. Decent sized crappie, actually. Get up in here. All right. Very first crappie using that live bait, pink jig. It's just a 16th ounce. That did the ticket. There was a bed right up there, and it definitely did not take long. We were curious to see if these fish were in the shallows on their beds yet, and uh, that answers our question. So, going to get a release on them, toss it back in there right away, see if we can get some more. That is exciting. If that's a crappie. Oh my god. If that's a crappie, that is enormous. Actually. I think it is. Oh, that thing is enormous. Oh my god, that thing is huge. Got him. Nice, dude. Oh my god, that's a slob. That is a nice crop. Oh my god, that's big. Be careful, be careful. That thing's huge. 
Well, I am very thankful that Nick was running his GoPro for that because that one, that's a giant, guys. Look at these slobs. That is a freaking giant crappie. Not quite a PB, but that's a fatty. That one's got to be at least 14, probably 14 and a half inches. That's a giant crappie, guys. They're just coming up and smacking them. We've got them dialed in right here on a log right now. There's a ton of them. So we're going to go ahead and get back out there. There's a bigger one. Oh, there is a bigger one. That one, it's really dark in color, too. It's going to look cool if we can get them up, but I don't know. That's, that's awesome. This one came into the picture, but it right above them came up, smacked my minnow, and just set the hook right into them. So that's pretty sweet. We're going to get a quick picture and get a release on this little guy. Ooh. I love it. Let's go ahead real quick get a measurement on her. See it's right there guys. 14 and a half, almost 15. That's 15. 14 and three quarters at 14 least. 14 and three quarters. Just about a 15 inch crappie and there's bigger down there. Let's go boys. Let's get a beautiful release on this big girl. See you later. Woo! There's more down there. Let's go get them. I had that big one. He had it in his mouth. I didn't even realize it. Oh, he just missed. Oh, he's turning on me. Here he comes, here he comes. Got him. Is this a black crappie? Like, what's going on? This thing is so dark compared to that last one. Oh my gosh, let's go. Holy cow, that thing is freaking a tank. Trying to work that fish for like ever, but he finally committed. He was snipping at it a couple other times, but jeez, finally got him. These are some really quality sized crappies that we're after. And we're basically just vertical jigging them over this log. It's crazy. All right, guys, show you with the big camera how dark this fish is. This is one of the blackest crappies that I have ever caught. Compared to the ones that we've been catching so far today, this one is just ridiculous. But as you can tell, it is just a chunky, fat fish. I'm gonna get a release on him, but I'm gonna get a measurement quick. Brandon caught a 14 and three quarter. Might be hard to judge, but I think it is a 14 and seven eighths. Almost 15 oh incher. Gosh, of course. Beat I me mean, by an eighth of an inch. Yeah, that's absolutely how it has to go. Uh, but incredible fish. I'm gonna get a release on him on her, I should say, so she can go back to her bed and finish doing what she's gotta do. That is awesome. We are on top of a really big school and a really, like just a ton of really big crappies. So we're gonna get back and see if we can pick off a few more for you guys. Got him. There we go. That one just engulfed it. Had to work it a little bit. But as you can see, that is absolutely all the way gone. This is a small one compared to the ones that we were catching. But hey, it's another crappie. Get a release on them right away. See ya. All right, get another minnow on. See if we can catch another one. Hooked up. Atta boy. Let me come over by it. Check her out. There we go. Came up and just slapped that yo pink jig. Gotta love that. Check that out. Another decent one. Not quite as big as the first couple, but it's still probably about a 12 and a half, 13 inch crappie at least. It's a nice sized one, but I'm gonna go ahead and get a release on this old fella. That's what now? Three, four, five? I don't even know how many we've caught. See ya. That feels good. We've got a few down trees here. We've got some structure. I've got two beds right in front of me. I don't see anything on those, but there's a bigger bed back about 15 feet behind it. We're gonna try and not disturb it. Nick's gonna go ahead and record me. I'm gonna take a couple casts. There were like two or three crappies on it when we came up on it, and it looked like there were a couple bass too. So I'm gonna go ahead and take a cast and see if we get hooked up here. Yep, that's one right there, that's one. I think he has it. Yes. Come on, baby. Come on, baby. Come on, baby. Oh! <laughs> no. Okay. Well, that was a crappie. <laughs> you gotta be kidding me. 
I lost them. Oh man. Well, that's okay. We have had ourselves a day out here. I can't believe I just lost that coffee. <laughs> and he got my minnow. Well, like I was saying, we have had ourselves a day out here. We've gotten into a number of crappies and almost every single one of them has been over that like 12 to 13 mark. Some of them pushing that 15 mark, which is some absolute brutes, especially for up here, northern Wisconsin. So we're going to go ahead, pack up the yaks. We're going to get everything loaded up. We've got some more fishing to do tonight, so we've got more videos coming soon. We will see you guys at the landing. Woo! All right. Well. That was fun, as you guys can tell, back at the campsite. Now, we have to uh, go through the joyous times of taking all this down, unfortunately. Hey, bass, calm down. Crappies, knock it off. They're getting a little rowdy out in the lake again. Now we gotta go through the joyous time of taking all this stuff down, but it's not too bad. It is time to send it home. We had a good time out here today, catching some crappies and of course, you know, getting out here and uh, catching that giant pike that now I have to go do something with. If you guys, again, if you guys haven't seen that video, you guys are gonna wanna make sure to check that out. That was last week's video, hooked into a 42 and a half inch northern pike. I'm still, I still don't even believe it. I was pretty stoked. So that's uh, definitely Brando's new PB. So if you guys haven't seen it, check that one out. We greatly appreciate you guys staying tuned with us. We've got a ton of stuff to come this summer. We've got the drone. We've got more fishing trips, more camping trips. A ton of stuff is coming. So stay with us. If you guys are new to the channel, if you guys aren't already subscribed, make sure to do so. If you guys enjoyed today, make sure to leave us a big old thumbs up. We greatly appreciate every like that we get and the comments. Uh, if you guys feel free, leave one down below we'll go through we read them all and respond to you as best we can hopefully we can meet up with some of you guys again this summer we've got a lot of stuff to come so stay tuned for more tight lines from nb edits <laughs>